According to Adam Scott, it's not always true that the PGA Tour and Live Golf should collaborate for the sake of professional golf as a whole. Instead, Scott urges the two rival golf tours to go their ways. What's more, the Australian golfer is to reunite with caddy Steve Williams for Australian events and beyond. Keep watching to find out more. First up, Liv's recruitment of PGA Tour players. Your question about the the players who have chosen to go to live and and to play on. As Live Golf prepares for its second season, the 2013 Masters champion asserted that there was nothing wrong with the two competing circuits conducting their business independently. Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods have demanded that Australian Greg Norman resigns from his position as CEO of Live Golf. The two believe Norman, who attempted to launch a world tour in the 1990s but was shut down by the PGA Tour, is too disruptive to act as a mediator between both organizations. Live made its debut this year with seven 25 $5 million events and a $50 team's finale, with funding from the public investment fund of Saudi Arabia generating controversy. With a focus on the team franchises, the schedule will expand to 14 events the next year, one of which will be in Adelaide in April. The top 20 players on the PGA Tour will be assured to tee off in a new series of 17 enhanced events that has been devised in response to Liv's rising threat. To bolster its 48-player roster, which will increase to 60, Liv has already recruited PGA Tour players like Cameron Smith, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, and Patrick Reed, and is eager to recruit more. Next up, Adam Scott's take on the PGA Tour and Liv's collaboration. Adam Scott, off 30 at 17. To Scott, it seemed as though Woods and McElroy were speaking for the PGA Tour recently. He claimed before to the Australian Open in Melbourne, but he did not anticipate a truce being reached anytime soon. Despite Scott's claim that he had heard this, it appears likely that this is true and more like wild imagination. In addition, he stated that he is not involved enough to know that. He believes that Liv and the PGA Tour should continue with their initiatives and that a solution will eventually be found. Whether that solution involves working together or separately, he said he isn't sure of nor can comment on that solution. Scott also said he doesn't believe they need to be together to benefit the game. He believes that the good of the game will eventually triumph, even though he hasn't seen such a big shakeup in a while. Scott also expressed his desire to add to his 2009 success at NSW Golf Club by winning the Australian Open this week. Scott suggested that a victory in Melbourne may spark a successful 2023 in the US, even if he already has high expectations for his prospects of winning on the PGA Tour in 2019. Similar to Scott in 2019, who won the Australian PGA that year and used it as a springboard to claim his first PGA Tour victory in four years at Riviera. Moving on, Adam Scott thinks both tours should go their own way. So within three of the lead and in second place, we know that Adam Scott has been very skeptical about the possibility of coexistence between the PGA Tour and Live Golf, advising the two rival tours to get on with what they're doing and pray for the best. Besides that, Scott, as a man of reason that he is, isn't sure what Greg Norman's submission to Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, who both believe the Live Golf head should resign, will accomplish. The tours are involved in an ongoing legal battle with one another, and Woods agrees with McIlroy, who came out against Norman earlier this month, that the two circuits cannot cooperate until the Australian is out of the picture. Leishman was reluctant to participate in the Wednesday discussion after being persuaded to join Live Golf by Norman. However, he felt that the CEO deserved respect. According to Leishman, Greg has done a wonderful job and he also does have the players. Around the whole shakedown, he claims everyone has an opinion and believes they're free to express it. More on why Tiger Woods wants Greg to resign. Um, I don't see that happening. Um, as Rory said, and I, I said it as well, I think Greg's got to leave. Woods believes that firstly, Greg has to leave. He thinks leadership on their side must first recognize that the current state of affairs is not favorable for the long-term development of golf as a whole. He thinks they are putting the game in jeopardy. You need to have the two bodies come together. And if one side has so much animosity trying to destroy our tour, then how do you work with that, he said. Woods' words resemble that of Roy McElroy, who only two weeks ago had said that Greg needs to go and Woods' opinion echoes the same. Woods is off the idea that he should take a left exit and believes that he has made his mark in golf, so now will be the best time for someone to say, look, you've got this thing off the ground, but no one is going to talk unless there's an adult in the room that can try to mend fences. Up next, Adam Scott and Steve Williams reunion. Steve Williams is ending his retirement to caddy for Adam Scott in Australia with the goal of assisting the 42-year-old in his pursuit of a coveted second major title in 2019. 58-year-old William is popularly for being Tiger Woods' bag man from 1999 to 2011, but the New Zealander also carried bags for 
for Greg Norman, Raymond Floyd, and Ian Baker Finch during his career. Williams joined Scott's squad after his 2011 breakup with Woods, with whom he had shared 13 major championships and helped him capture his first major victory at the 2013 Masters. The Australian PGA Championship, held at Royal Queensland in Brisbane, and the Australian Open, held at Kingston Heath and Victoria on the Melbourne Sandbelt, will have Williams on the bag over the next two weeks. Williams and Scott's regular caddy, Greg Herman, are most likely to share the bag in 2023. Scott told Australian Golf Digest on Sunday that he was looking forward to teaming up with Steve again in the hopes that they will rediscover their old mojo. He also discussed the PGA Tour, saying that as a golfer, he has gone through many different phases throughout his career, and that now he is just trying to adapt to the constant evolution of the tour. He also expressed relief that Steve and Greg were present as he could obtain whatever he required to be in top form for the biggest event. More on Scott and Williams' past and current relationship. Williams retired at the end of 2017 after more than 40 years of caddying after Scott and Williams split up. Scott's performance at the majors has been inconsistent ever since. At the Belle Reve PGA Championships in 2018, he tied for third place and played with eventual victor Brooks Kepka in the final group. The following year, he placed in the top 10 at both the PGA and US Open. Although he was in the running, he hasn't competed in the majors since 2019. Scott, who briefly held the world number one spot in 2014, is eager to try and capture a second major title the following year. Scott says he has a good run with William in the majors, and since his goal is to win the majors, he's delighted to have him back. He also said how they together did win the Masters, but he wants to achieve the overall balance. He believes that is what he needs to play in the bigger events. He also claimed that Williams had reached a point in his life when he wanted to have a shot, because it won't be a grind for an entire year, it would be a fantastic balance for him. Not only that, but Williams is thrilled to be working for Scott again. He has claimed that the time he spent caddying for Scott was extremely memorable for him, along with helping him become the first Australian to win at the Augusta, which was something he holds dear. Lastly, let's talk about Scott and Williams' track record. Scott and Williams both have solid track records at the major tournament locations that will host the PGA Championship and Open Championship, respectively, in upstate New York and Royal Liverpool in 2019. At both the 2013 PGA and 2014 Open, Scott tied for fifth place with Williams on the bag. Not to forget, Williams served as Tiger's bag man when he won 2006 Open at Royal Liverpool. Williams, when talking about Scott's shape in the game, thinks that according to him, he is in a really good shape, and he thinks they will make a good team because he hasn't been caddying for a while, and so he can bring in the excitement element to their team. He further talks about his experience with not only Scott, but others, where his advice to them would be that in order to go down as one of the greatest players in history, they need to win several majors. He thinks it would be a privilege for him to assist Scott in being a part of those players of history by getting him a chance to win his major number two. That's all for this video, folks. Tell us what you think about Adam Scott's point of view in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.